Hey what is up everyone I hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have a uniformly charged right angle triangular lamina ABC okay is shown in the figure acute angle at the vertex A is theta if the potentials of vertices A and B are VA and VB respectively find potential of the vertex C so in the question we need to write VC as a function of VA and VB okay so to solve this question we need to break it into few small steps okay uh, step number one we will just ignore the question at the beginning let us first find out the potential at a perpendicular distance d from one of the edge of a charged rod of total charge q length l at a point p okay so for this rod potential at point p how will we find that out we will consider a small uh, small charge dy of length dy and we will find the potential at p due to this small charge that would be k e d q charge per unit length times the length of the small charge divided by this length this distance ok. So, integrating for the whole rod from 0 to l ok we will get something like this after putting the limits ok I am not discussing this part this is a child's play for you all ok. So, after putting down the limits we will get this one simplifying it a little bit further we get this thing ok. So, this is the potential at this point due to a rod ok for of charge q length l. We will use this final result in our video. Step 2 now we will find out the potential at any one of the vertices of a triangular lamina having surface charge density sigma fine. So, let this acute angle be theta and I am dividing this whole triangular lamina into infinite, uh, infinite number of strips. So, let us consider one such strip at a distance x from the vertex running along the base of thickness dx and height dy ok. So, remember this formula, remember this expression, we will use this one ok. So, this is nothing but a rod and for a rod this one is our required working formula. So, K e total charge by length. So, K e total charge of this strip that is sigma times y dx by length ln length of the rod divided by perpendicular distance that is length of the rod divided by x root over l by d square plus 1. So, root over here we will get y by x whole square plus 1 fine ok. Now, this y gets cancelled out. Now, you as you can see this y by x is nothing but a constant that is tan theta ok. So, we have tan theta plus tan square theta plus 1 that is sec square theta that would give you sec theta ok. So, ln tan theta plus sec theta sigma and the limit of x would run from 0 to b where b is the length of the base ok. So, if you want to find out potential at this point you need to integrate for this length ok because at that instant this will become the base this one would be the hypotenuse and this one would be the perpendicular height. But for this point this is the base this is hypotenuse this is the height. So, remember that here we need to multiply the base of the triangle length of the base depending at which point you are finding the potential. So, we have uh, got this formula we will use this one also in our video ok. So, I am just uh, drawn the diagram once again fine just take a deep breath and now we will jump into our actual question. In our actual question we need to write the potential of point C with respect to V A and V B. So, here the angle theta is given. So, this angle would be 90 minus theta this is our right angle ok. Now, please use this formula ok for vertex A the potential would be see K e sigma K e sigma tan theta plus sec theta inside ln ok. So, tan theta plus sec theta times this length because if you just uh, rotate the rotate your screen by uh, anti clockwise one uh, 90 degrees 
so this one would be the base okay so this should be a for point b we'll just replace theta with uh, 90 minus theta so tan 90 minus theta would give you cot theta see tan 90 minus theta would give you cot theta and sec that means 1 by cos that means sin 1 by sin cosec theta okay so cosec theta divided sorry times this length of the base okay just take some time okay just uh, check whether i have written it correct or wrong whether you all are satisfied with these two expressions or not okay now let us come further we need to write the potential at point c but uh, here we will face some problem for that we need to break this whole triangle into two parts just we draw a normal from point c to this line a b so we have two triangles now this one and this one okay now potential at point c will be nothing but sum of the potential due to these two triangles so let us consider this triangle first okay so for this triangle potential at c would be again k e sigma ln angle with the base is 90 minus theta so tan 90 minus theta remember the formula fine so tan 90 minus theta sec 90 minus theta times length of the base so length of the base is b cos theta fine okay so we have b cos theta wonderful great and now the second term potential at c will be the sum of due to this triangle and this larger triangle so for this larger triangle the potential would be this one k e sigma ln tan theta plus sec theta times length of the base again but now i will write the length of the base in the form of a that would be a sin theta okay now just again tan 90 minus theta means cot theta sec 90 minus theta means cosec theta so this is the expression okay now recall the expressions of va and vb va was this one so can you find out this whole thing is va and this whole thing is vb so now just replace them and you will get your final answer okay so i hope you found this solution simple and uh, if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and i will keep on bringing this kind of videos so that you can score a wonderful marks in your je advanced exam okay so till then bye take care peace